Hi, this is Rob. I'm going to show you how to do the exercises that go along with the Math Antics video lesson, Calculating Percent Change. Are you ready? Let's get started. Our first problem is if you have $100 and then get $40 more, what is the percent change? So for percent change, we need to find out what this change was per 100. So if we had started with 100, what would the change be? And in this case, we do start with 100. So the change is 40, the $40 more, but in percent form, we put that as 40% because it changed $40 per the original $100. So it's 40 per 100. And does that change up or down? We need to know if it's positive or negative. And it says $40 more, so it is a positive change. It is a 40% increase. Problem two is if you have $100 and then lose 25, what is the percent change? So once again, we are starting with $100. So the percentage is 25. So it'll be 25%. And then is it positive or negative? Well, right here it says that you lose the 25. So that is negative. That is a 25% decrease. Problem three says if you have $80 and then get $20 more, what is the percent change? Now for this problem, we're not starting with 100 anymore. So we need to use that formula that we learned in the video. And that formula is that the percent change, I'll just put the percent symbol right here so it doesn't get too crowded, equals the absolute change. So I'm just gonna write change here so it doesn't take too much room. But remember, this is the absolute change. You know, so in this case, it's 20. That's how much it changed. And then, divided by the original amount, so the original amount here, which will be 80, and then we multiply that by 100 to get it into the proper percent format. All right, so let's plug in our numbers here. So we're gonna have the percent change is equal to the absolute change, which is 20, and it's 20 more, so it's positive, but we don't need to put the plus sign in there, we just, we just know that it's positive by default if there's not a negative sign in front of it. So then the original amount, which is 80, so let's put that here. And then eventually we'll multiply this by 100. So 20 divided by 80, or 2 divided by 8, 0 0.25 times 100. And then of course, you know, the percent change equals this and 0 0.25 times 100 equals 25%. So our percent change equals 25%, and it is positive. And in this case, you, know, you can go ahead and put the, the little plus sign there to, to verify that you know that it is an increase. But it shouldn't be marked wrong if you leave it off. But if you have $80 and they get $20 more, the percent change is positive 25%. Problem four says, if you have $75 and then lose 25, what is the percent change? All right, so let's plug those numbers into our formula. So we have percent change equals, then the absolute change. So we lose 25. So since we lose 25, it's gonna be negative 25, divided by, and the original amount is 75, so divide by 75, and then we're gonna multiply that by 100. So the percent change is negative 25 divided by 75, and that's going to be negative 0 0.333. It's a, those numbers just keep on repeating forever. So we can just draw a line over it like that to show that these numbers, these digits keep repeating forever. And that's gonna be multiplied by 100. And so, when we do that, we get the percent change is equal to negative 33 and then point, whoops, that's a, that's a decimal right there, 0.3 repeating, repeating forever. And, oh, almost forgot to put in the percent symbol there. So if you have $75 and then lose $25, the percent change is negative 33.3%. You know, or a 33.3% decrease. For problem five, we're allowed to use a calculator, and we have on Sunday, the high temperature was 71 degrees Fahrenheit, 
But on Monday, it was five degrees lower. That lower is an important word. What was the percent change? All right, so let's put our formula out here again. So percent change equals, and then the absolute change. So the, the change was that on Monday, it was five degrees lower. So lower means this is gonna be negative. So we put negative five, and then that is gonna be divided by the original amount, which was 71 degrees. So negative five divided by 71, and then we're gonna multiply that by 100. So we have percent change equals, and then we have negative five divided by 71. Now this, this calculator isn't a full blown real calculator. It doesn't actually have the button to, to make it negative. Like on a calculator, that will usually look like a button with a plus and a minus sign on it. Um, but on, on this one, we just have to remember that one of the numbers we entered was negative. And so the answer will be negative, but hopefully your calculator will let you actually enter a negative value for this. So I'll just put in five divided by 71 equals, so the decimal digits are this, but remember that this is negative. So it's negative 0 0.07 and then so on. Well, I'll put a couple more digits. All right. That's really weird that this is highlighting like that. So, you know, don't, don't think that that's important. That's just a weird visual quirk. No big deal. Okay. So negative 0 0.0704 times 100. And, you know, even though that part's easy, like it's also easy to just do it here. Times 100. So it equals 7.04. So the percent change equals, and don't forget the negative, negative 7.04%. Yeah, although that's like super, super precise for the numbers we were given, it, it would make a lot of sense to just leave it as negative 7% as well. But, but it's fine to, to work it out to this, this level of detail. You, you, I would consider either one correct, but your teacher might have a specific number of digits she wants. But for this problem, if the original temperature was 71 degrees, and on Monday it was 5 degrees lower, the percent change is negative 7.04% or a 7.04% decrease. For problem 6, we have a deli sold 230 sandwiches one day, but the next day they sold an additional 35 sandwiches. What was the percent change? All right. So the formula again is the percent change equals, and then the absolute change. So it's an additional 35 sandwiches. That's an additional 35, so that's positive. So 35, and then it's gonna be divided by the original amount, which is 230 sandwiches, 230. And then this is going to be multiplied by 100. And so we do this, this uh, division here, we do 35, 35 divided by 230 equals, and we get 0 0.1521, a lot of digits. It's pretty much just these first ones that matter. So we have 0 point, whoops, point 0.152 times 100. And so you could either do that on the calculator or you should be able to do that in your head simply by, you know, moving the decimal point two places to the right. Although some people don't like to refer to it that way. That's a easy way for me to think about it. So the percent change equals 15.2, uh, that point disappeared, okay, 0.2%, and that's positive, and that's an increase. So if you sell 230 sandwiches, and then the next day an additional 35 sandwiches, that's a 15.2% increase. For problem seven, we have a mechanic repaired 12 cars one day, but the next day they repaired seven cars. What was the percent change? All right, so th this one might catch you off guard because all of the other ones that we've done, they, they specify the amount more or the amount less. In this case, it just says the, the total number of cars they did that day. So the first thing we have to do is figure out 
what the actual, the actual absolute change was. So the change, let's write that out. So the change, you put in the new value, so the latest value, the, the seven, and then you subtract the original value. And the original value was 12. And so seven minus 12 equals negative five. So the absolute change was negative five. So we just plug that into our, our formula we've been using, the percent change equals absolute change, negative five. Sorry, that's kind of a weird looking five. Um, and then the, the absolute, not the absolute, the original amount was 12. So we have negative five divided by 12, and that's gonna be multiplied by 100. So the percent change equals, so let's plug that in. And once again, I apologize for this calculator. It doesn't have a negative button. So here, let's figure that. Okay, so five divided by 12 equals, and remember, if this was a proper calculator, we would have put in negative five. So this should be negative. So it's negative 0 0.416. And well, let's round it off. You know, there's more sixes, so we'll round up. So that'll be six, seven. Multiply that by 100. And so, you know, we just, you can either do that on the calculator or just do it easily by knowing that you just, you know, move the decimal point right there. So the percent change is equal to negative, don't forget the negative, 41 point, and let's just round it even more, let's just say 41.7, because we already multiplied it by that. Let's put in the percent sign though, okay. So if you repair 12 cars one day, and the next day you repair seven cars, the percent change is a 41.7% decrease. For problem eight, we have a bakery sold a total of 42 pies one day, but the next day they sold a total of 50 pies. What was the percent change in daily pie sales? So once again, we're not told the, the absolute change. We're just given the total number on both days. So to find the change, we take our, the day we're trying to find the change in. So that's the 50 and we subtract the original amount, 42. And so 50 minus 42 is eight. And so that is our absolute change, eight. So now we have percent change equals the absolute change, which is eight, divided by the original amount, which is 42. And then we're going to multiply that by 100. So we have eight divided by 42. Here, let's plug that in here, eight divided by 42 equals, we have 0 0.190476. Um, we will just pay attention to these first few digits again. Put that in here. So the percent change equals, and that's 0 0.19 times 100. So when we do that, we're going to get 19, just a nice clean 19. Put the percent sign in there. And we'll go ahead and put the plus there since this is the final answer. So if you sell 42 pies one day and then 50 pies the next day, the percent change is positive 19% or a 19% increase.